who am I? Yeah, I've already been introduced, so I'm not going to read it again. And it used to be my photo on the screen, but my teammates were like, why should I have a photo? It's better to have a robot, because you're on the stage, everybody see you, so please make, put a robot. So yeah, and I'm Vyacheslav Kostik, I'm from Wargaming team. And that's the slide where I'm going to complain about the weather. But first of all, <laughs> uh, do you play games? Like, raise a hand, please. Okay. So that's the best joke for you. Today we started with Blizzard, but I'm not from Blizzard, I'm from Wargaming. <laughs> for those who play games, like, yeah. And we are delivery, delivering a good games with passion, and we have a lot of offices across the world. And the platform location mostly tied to Kyiv, Vilnius, Nicosia, and Poland. So I have like a quite distributed team with more than 150 teammates. And most of them are engineers. So let's move on and a disclaimer. So some of you raised hands that you do play games. Have you ever heard about Quake 3? Please raise, cool. For you guys, there will be some hints and features in the presentations. For those who do not play games or do not play, ever played Quake 3, like, it doesn't really matter. Because again, that's all about style and uh, some analogies I'm going to have as a presentation. And again, the agenda is communication itself and the scale of the communication from peer-to-peer, -peer, team, and company-wide. And then I will share some ideas, features, or patterns, how communication could be handled, and you may implement it in your real life. Let's move on. So first of all, I created a short checklist. It's not full, and you don't need to read it. Probably the presentation is going to be shared. But the idea is that you may ask these questions to you, to yourself, or to your team. Do you have like a duplication of work, or low management transparency? low innovation, or during your retrospective, you recognized that you missed uh, critical integrational stuff. So uh, all these questions could be asked by you to yourself and to your team. And if the answer is yes, and by the way, it seems to me that everybody of you at certain point in time had these problems, then it might be a communicational troubles. I do not say that uh, this particular reasons or like bullets is only about communication, but the communication itself could be the key. And of course, th that's not the only one reason for engineering team to fail, but if you have a lack of communication, it definitely can lead you to, to fail. So that's the short checklist. And let's start the idea of Quake 3, why I took Quake 3 uh, as a layout, as a background for the presentation. Because when I'm thinking about the communication, I see that there are a lot of in common with a game itself. So there are three different modes in Quake 3. Duel, Team Desmatch, and a Desmatch. And it seems to me that it's about communication. So peer-to-peer -peer is like a duel, and my favorite is Tony 2. That's the map in Quake 3. Team and cross-team communication is a team does much, and unit and company-wide communication, like it, it is a does much. So again, it's my own analogy, and those who played game, the Quake 3, probably will understand. And all I'm going to share with you, uh, all features, uh, patterns, are based on the real stories uh, from my experience, in Wargaming and other companies. So kind of, it's an infinite loop. First of all, you receive pain, then gain, and that's how we receive an experience, feedback loop, and then you are able to improve. So again, that's based on the two stories. And let's start with a peer-to-peer -peer communication. Could you guess what, what kind of peer-to-peer -peer communication could we have? Like, the best guess from me. One-on-one, -on -one. cool. Uh, and by the way, yeah, I will return back to one-on-ones, but here the setup is dual. We are going to use a rail gun as a weapon to deliver communication, of course, like hit someone. And area effect is target. And yeah, I'm not going to stop on the peer-to-peer -peer communication a lot, and here I'm going to rely 
on the Mahmoud's presentation, there were a lot of about communication. And yeah, you may have one-on-ones. That's a cool practice when you talk to an employee, to your teammate. Also, you may have a kitchen talk, like walking down the corridor or in the kitchen having a coffee. We may discuss something. And by the way, it works. So it's a really good way to communicate and to receive some tiny small things, what is going on in the company or in the project. And that's the base level. So everything starts with a peer-to-peer -peer communication, but it's not enough. And first of all, it costs a lot. So you're not able to run in one-on-one -on -one with all 150 employees. It takes time. And that's it. Yeah, you may use a certain tools to communicate, like whatever the messenger, emails, or even write a special conference doc that's going to be delivered to a particular person. He will read and understand everything about it. The second level is a team and cross-team communication, like a team desmatch and a plasma gun as a weapon to deliver a communication. And here, like first of all, we have a lot of common practices. And again, in the Mahmoud presentation, he mentioned some of them. First of all, everything that you have in Scrum, all these uh, plannings, groupings, retrospectives, whatever you want, that's a quite common practices. So also, you may have a team chat. Of course, that's the way to communicate. You're able to create a team chat and like share everything you need in the team chat. You may have a workshops to have something on your fingertips. Oh, hey, okay, we have a new API, we delivered a new contract, let's try it. Or we have a new technology, let's, let's try it, not only talk, but like something on your fingertips. Then Python, or we use it as a platform enhancement uh, proposal. Also, the practice is a product delivery review and so on. Uh, quite common, I'm not going to stop on it. I'm going to talk about something, let's say, uncommon or my best practices I have in the platform team. And the first practice is um, management weekly stand-up. Why do we need it? Because we have a lot of teams, and I'd like to ensure that each of the team has at least some understanding about what is going on in another team. That is why we need a weekly management stand-up. It's not like a stand-up, it is a meeting. We started with a one-hour long meeting. Then we recognize that we can be fast and downgrade it to half an hour. On this meeting, each manager could share the very important news from his team, some issues or achievements as well. And as far as everybody presents on this meeting, they could distribute this communication to their own team. And here is a small hint. MFU is a must. Without a meeting follow-up, it's kind of a waste of your time, definitely. And I will show you in the next slides how it works. Why do you need an MFU? Next practice, like I combine two of them, we called it like deep dive and a deep, deep dive. Why do we need it? We have uh, engineering leadership in a unit or in a company or like in a group of team. And sometimes we are not able to be so deep in a teamwork, in a daily work, like 20% only. And that's the way how the Scrum team could communicate to a lead, uh, engineering leadership about any questions, like any. That's the matter of trust, but you can discuss the lack of talents. OK, we are crunching. It seems to me that we need more QAs. Let's discuss it. Or we have a lack of space right now, like we need to extend an office. Or we have a communicational troubles with our customers. We do not know how to deal with it. We've had a bad release, something like that. Again, each communication is a matter of trust. And if team do trust you, they will share with you something really important and actionable. So why do I need it? Because I can help my team to improve something, to solve whatever the issue. And the second one is like a deep, deep dive. That's the result of a deep dives in the different teams we have on the platform. So we may have some common issues, or we may ask uh, a common question to each of the team, then get the result, take all the managers, and discuss it. Probably we will find out that there is an overlapping area with a lot of common stuff that needs to be fixed, or just we need to say thank you to the team, and that's how it works. 
And the hint here is you need to use your scrum practices, planning, grooming, and so on. Here, please do not discuss plans and deliverables. That's not about it. That's a different pattern where you could discuss what is going on in the team. Stay connected to the team. And my favorite block for today, guys, that's the unit or a company-wide communication. Uh, let's uh, like a desmatch and my favorite weapon. It used to be a shotgun. Again, it's not about killing someone. That's about how we are delivering the communication. And that's the analogy I have, that I have no silver bullet for you guys. I, I'm not able to provide you the only one idea how to handle the communication in a company or a huge unit. But I have a shotgun with a small sharp nails and the area of effect going to be quite big with a lot of overlapping areas. And again, some common practices from the unit or a company-wide communication. So Scrum of Scrum, engineering management, engineering manager thinks or tech lead thinks or team lead thinks. So probably we could add some clarity here. So Scrum of Scrum, like it is a cross team planning, quite common. And that's how you can avoid a duplication or a lack of like integrational activities. Engineering management manager think or a team lead think. That's the special meeting where you can discuss a talent oriented questions. So that's about the people management not about like a technologies. And another one, yeah, tech sync, it might be a really good stuff for you to discuss a company-wide technologies we use and approaches we take. We take. So that's kind of a good one. All hands, that's the quite common meeting when the leader of a unit or a company has a meeting with everybody, talking from the screen, or if you have enough space, you are able to take it offline and share some news. And of course, you may ask, answer on the questions, to the questions. Strategical planning, and by the way, last but not least, from the common practices, it's a clear and uh, specific goal. <laughs> uh, why it is important? Because if you have the goals or the values of your team on, only in your head, it is quite complicated to remember, and uh, it is like lead you to fail. Because each time when you are going to talk about goals, you, the result could be slightly different. So I prefer this stuff to be consistent. And, okay, let's talk about uncommon or my favorite practices on a unit or a company-wide scale. First is like, uh, I don't know why I prioritize it like this, but that's a cool one. I was looking for a right word here, and the most right word in English is whining. Whining meeting. <laughs> why do we need it? Because you have a crew, and they are not working all the time. They have something in their mind. And if they have a lot, they are not going to work and think about the work. They're going to think how to deal with the issues they have. It might be uh, work-related issues. Again, okay, a lack of space. Or for example, the tough one we had, for example, that, okay, we need to return back to the office. And by the way, like, mm, we like this stuff like to work remotely and I don't want to go to the office, where I should discuss it. And by the way, again, if you're a team leader or engineering manager, you are going to lead by example, and if you don't want to return back to the office, it seems to me the issue. So you can discuss this one. Or a lack of cookies, lack of cookies in the kitchen. That's, again, why don't you whine about it? It's complicated to be an expert, by the way. So, and again, this topic could be raised on this special meeting. And three hints here, first of all, <laughs> Yeah, have a backlog, be prepared. The best way to define a topics to a wine in a meeting is like, could you please imagine what are you going to discuss with your colleague in the bar? That's pretty much similar. So create a backlog, no alcohol, please. We're still at work and keep door closed. I mean, if you're going to talk loudly about, we need to return back to the office and somebody will work and pass you by, okay, managers created some really strange, they're going to like force us to return back, so keep door closed. And while you're discussing this stuff, you will figure it out that some of the points are not actionable. Sad but true. I can do nothing about, I don't know, Belarusian government. 
sorry, that's why we are here, by the way. But some of them are quite actionable, so take an action, and you may help your team. Next one, the platform technical digest. Sometimes it is better to read. Yeah, why do we need it? Because yeah, we may share the information by talking to each other, like offline or from the screen. We may record a movie, but also we can create something special for an engineering team. That's the digest. By the way, it was the hardest. Well, 2021 was the hardest for me. We issued 12 digests, so one per month. It is complicated, but uh, what is the idea? The idea is to share some engineering stuff in the digest, like we took a new API, or uh, okay, somebody defined that uh, we need to get rid of old stuff, uh, whatever, like bump the Python version or something like that. Some really cool engineering topics. Also, you, if you have a distributed unit, you may share some like business domain knowledge. Okay, we have a commerce team inside the platform. What do they do? Let's talk about it. And you may describe what we are doing in the commerce team daily. Also, here, this intro is like something from the head of unit. Uh, good to know. What is a good to know? That's a result of management stand-ups. So you may take all the infos, find something that is really necessary to share, and highlight it in the digest. And that's how the engineer will learn about what is going on in platform, in wargaming in general, probably all around the world, if we have something to share about it. Uh, and to make it not so boring, like a lot of engineering stuff, you may have an interview with a particular developer, like what, are you do, what, what do you do? What are your hobbies? And so on and so forth. So pretty cool. And that's the way how you can return back. OK, two months ago. It was a topic about contract API. I will go and read. So pretty cool. And please do not lost all these digest store somewhere in the cloud, because we lost it, some of them. <clears throat> Highlights. That's, let's say, a, not an engineering digest, but the business digest. Because a platform is a big business unit in the wargaming. And why do we need it? First of all, We'd like our customers to know about new features in platform. What is going on? Second, we'd like to highlight that there is no skunk work. I mean, there, there is no hidden work. How do we do this? That's Again, that's the digest. You may read it. We highlight all features being delivered monthly or quarterly with a human readable description. And why do our customers need it? And uh, how it will help them? Quite good, and again, it is easy to explain to a CEO of the company what are the results of the year. Like take digests, like combine, and here is like an answer. Quite good and quite fast. Uh, cool practice, and by the way, we are on it. Meetups. You may have an external meetup as a Gurtam right now. You may have an internal meetup. It helps. And I define three type of meetups we have in platform. It is, again, internal. The target audience is my crew. First one is a hardcore engineering meetup. Why Erlang is better than Alexa? By the way, that's the real topic we discussed. It was like an engineering comedy and with a lot of useful and useless information. It was fun and really hardcore with it. Examples in Erlang, in Elixir, like if you're familiar with these languages, it's quite tough. But cool. Then soft core topics. Uh, we can discuss a huge project or a big features uh, together with like, I don't know, a head of commerce, for example. So we may have this discussion. Why do we need it? Like that's the way how we can distribute the knowledge across the team. Why do we need this project? What are the goals? And so on and so forth. Uh, and it helps. For example, we had a really huge project in the war game in last year, last year, one year and a half, when we've been split in a company. So we left the business in Russia and Belarus, and we need to split the audience and the technologies. We've never been designed for such a split. 
So we have a car, like, could you please remove a wheel and a door, and we need to still keep going. Like, it was really complicated stuff. And we started with our soft core topics repeating again and again. Why do we need it? What are the next milestones? What being delivered? And that's how we, by the way, created a third type of meetups. We have it like a podcast. It's more live with more communication. You are able to be in a room. Still, we are streaming, but we have like a special room, meeting room with a camera and not only two of us, but a group of people who deeply involved to the project. And we can talk. It's like a live action and it's not so boring when you're talking, okay, we have commerce stuff, we deliver it, something, blah, blah, blah. okay, everybody fall asleep. Here it's more live, like with arguments, we can argue, we may like disagree with each other, uh, highlight something really important to uh, certain teams and so on. So sharing is caring, so sharing is key. Meetups is cool. Next practice, we call it systems are up. That's the good one, and it is a company or a unit-wide communication. That's a special channel. You may use whatever messenger you used to, like Slack, we use MS Teams, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But we created a special channel to manage incidents. Why do we need it? The common situation, we've fucked up. Everybody had the situation in your practice. Like in my practice, from in, in the war game, in the Worst I had is like the outage of our commerce services during the New Year activities. That's insane. And everybody involved in the company, what is going on? Could you provide a status? Like, when are you going to fix it? What is the root cause? And that's not the only one manager came to me. A dozen of them, like, and with the same questions, with the same questions, I was so tired. Like, I'm not doing my stuff. I'm replying again and again, what is going on? Thanks to my crew, because as far as I was talking to all managers in the wargaming, they've been doing their stuff. And that's how we created Systems Are Up. That's a special channel with the rules specified in the conference page. Uh, as an example, that's for wargaming. You may create your own rules. Because we have a lot of automation, we do not need all incidents in this web. Only manually created, only high or very high impact. And that's the only source of tools for you as a manager to receive an exact state. What is going on? Like, go to the channel, read. Like, there is like a topic. Commerce services are down. Okay, what is going on? Somebody has already acknowledged and working on it. They created the tickets in Jira. They asked for help from the accounts team and so on. And you may read through the channel and gather the exact state, what is going on. And it helps your engineering managers and team lead just removing all this mess. So you're able to receive a status from there. And by the way, yeah, you need to specify the rules. It is very important. And then distribute these rules to the team. So whatever the patterns we discussed today, just distribute it. Uh, one more practice. We called it All About Doc. And I already started this story about the company split. This project or a program was a nightmare of communication. Why? Because everybody in the company involved, starting from legals, customer support, platform maintenance team, all our games. So everybody needs to do some stuff. It is a mess. So it, all company involved. The uh, final date set in stone already. Like we, we know that we need to deliver everything by the exact date. We do not have all the requirements in place. We do not have time to decompose those and break down the work. We need to start and build airplane during the flight. And that's how this practice appeared. And it works on the big projects. First of all, you need to define a crew who is going to be involved from a particular teams. Okay, guys from legal, got it. Guys from World of Tanks, World of Warships, Platform Maintenance, and we have this list. Then we started to break down the work. Each team goes separately, but each 
week, we had a meeting. First of all, you as a representative from platform team, let's say, may I raise any questions, any concerns, risks, or whatever, quite high level. And this is going to be added to the all about Docker as a role. And there will be a special like, owner of this role. Okay, if you have some questions to legal, please put an exact name who is going to be responsible and reply back to me about it. Oh, I need some information from the customer support. The same, like we add this to this doc. The only one person can edit. We are returning back again and again each week going through this document and we may cross something that already been solved. We may add new from for you guys, like if you are not in the crew, that will be a nightmare. Like, fuck, what is, what is this? Like, that's kind of a huge conference page with some statements and so on and so forth. But this conference page, if you are part of internal crew who deal with this project, it will help you to stay in the same page, literally. Like, that's one page, you're on this page, you're able to read it, take actions, and uh, yeah, we keep going for eight months. Uh, it was a huge doc, yeah, but uh, that helped us to uh, solve a lot of issues. We stayed at the same page, literally. So let's sum up. And yeah, here, first of all, I used the mid-journey to create these fancy slides, and that's how Morpheus look from the mid-journey perspective. If you'd like to combine Morpheus from Matrix and Quakes we Arena. Something in common, at least take two peels red and blue, so got it. Uh, we have a lot of communicational patterns and practices. And you may read through the checklist and uh, try to remember the practices I presented and pick whatever you want. You are able to create your own, but be careful and do not take everything because it costs a lot. What is the cost of communication? your time. You need to be quite transparent, just exactly in time. And that is why you need to invest your time to create a good communication in team. And that is why Mahmoud spends only 20% of coding, because the rest is about communication. Uh, and yeah, so don't forget to update the documents. That's probably my last proposal to you guys, because you may specify the goal of the company at some confluence page three years ago, and probably you already achieved something. So please update it. That's it for today, guys. Let's talk. OK. Thank you, Vyacheslav, for your insightful talk on engineering team communication at scale and both your wealth experience and practical. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> OK, let's uh, continue with the questions. Yeah. Oh, crap. OK, Mahmoud, I will like, give you my microphone. <laughs> well, let me introduce some rules on the go. Let's limit yeah. to three questions, because we are running out of time. But Maybe uh, we have four, like three regular one and one from Mahmoud. OK, OK. So we have four questions, but Vyacheslav will be here as well as Mahmoud. Yeah, I'm not going to leave. Yeah, we'll be here during the coffee break. I have three kids at home, they're so, crying, but yeah. I'm not going to leave. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Vyacheslav, for your presentation. Uh, it's very exciting to me. And uh, my question is, how do you encourage your team to make uh, all this, those digests, podcasts, meetups, and everything else? And how much time do you allocate for that? It hurts. <laughs> uh, I started with a pattern lead by example. So the idea of a digest appeared in my head probably five or six years ago, and I started on my own. And what I recognized that it is complicated. First of all, I, I'm quite good at programming, at engineering. I'm so terrible at design, like crap. It was a nightmare for me to create the first issue. Uh, and probably, yeah, lead by example. And that's about the team contract I have with my team. So you always talk to the team, you define their needs and the communication is matter. So I always try to convince them. And by the way, 
as a manager, I, I always have two sides. Let's have an analogy from, I don't know, Star Wars, like a light one and a dark one. So light one is, I, I'm, I'm trying to convince you. Let's have a digest or let's have a meetup. Why don't you handle it? We have a lot of to share. Like I, I will try to convince you and I have a quite big crew and a lot of engineers like an idea about having a meetups and share. Sometimes I could turn on my dark side. Look, you're my son. Like, please go and do. But that's kind of not a good approach. Uh, so yeah, talk to your crew, like, explain why do you need it always. Like, we need a certain practice because blah, blah, blah. Here is your, like, bullets. And they will buy it. So that's how I always try to convince them. And it works. And about the time? How much time? Time, a lot. Uh, uh, the, the, the final, pre-final slide of, uh, of this presentation was about the cost. Guys, just believe me, to create such a meetup we have today, it is complicated. You need to have a dedicated person. So, for example, I have a copywriter on my team. We have a designer. Like, we have a lot of designers in the world. So, <laughs> okay, I could use some resources here. Uh, and you need to do it constantly. Like, you're not able to drop it. So, repeat again and again, like, physic will help you with all this inertia. So, a, a lot. I mean, like, each, that, is, that is why I do not take everything at the same time. I see. But the result is good. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. I'm going to answer on your question uh, at work, Vasily. <laughs> and do not release Friday, please. <laughs> He's from my crew, though. I will answer his questions <laughs> directly. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you very much for, for the presentation. And this uh, comparison with Q3 is really cool. Uh, and the question is, what do you usually do when you need to have uh, constant meetings with your, let's say, three different teams in Austin, Belgrade, or let's say, Shanghai? Uh, in other words, like, who must suffer? <laughs> because these time zones are usually uh, completely different. Good one. Uh, and by the way, I have no a silver bullet for you here. The unique solution. You are going to suffer, definitely. What can you do? I, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. First of all, you may break down the work and distribute it to the different teams and have not a daily meetings, but like reduce it to two times a week, for example. Uh, what else can you do here? I don't know. Use a different way to communicate. Okay. You may use like... Uh, uh, not only the live communication, but, okay, email is outdated, use the messengers. But there was uh, a slide in the presentation, Mahmoud's presentation, you're going to wait like for a team. Distributed team like is like is complicated to one. So reduce the amount, be very precise, like remove all the water out, the, out of the discussions. Uh, reduce to two times a week or something like that. Have a quite good specified requirements if it is possible. Have a really good breakdown and a project plan if possible. And then in case of emergencies, agree how you are going to handle it. Because if it is like everything is okay, everything is okay. We need two times a week. If something went wrong, have a representative who is going to handle like an L3 support. Even at night, if something definitely wrong and the team need assistance, like, okay, have this on duty activities. Something like that. Thank you. I'm going to stay here after the presentation so we are able to talk. So that's the third one. And then Mahmoud and all other questions going to be answered somewhere close to the coffee. Yeah, thanks uh, for the presentation. And question is about communication. In uh, Slack or MS Teams, uh, how do you handle uh, cross team communication in a way that uh, keep uh, people updating and uh, talking in uh, shared uh, channels uh, with uh, colleagues from different uh, locations, not uh, uh, diversion into like, wow, well, we will create a Russian speaking only channel, we will avoid uh, posting in <coughs> shared and so on. Okay, first of all, that's the bad idea to avoid someone out of the communication. It doesn't really matter the language you speak. 
you always have this discussion what is better, Python or Java, for example, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, do not avoid. Uh, again, it is complicated, and, and these cross team charts could grow uh, as a mushrooms after the rain. Manage them because we have a lot. I already lost a lot of common charts, and common questions, and so on. My proposal for you here is to define some common channels, like systems are up, or like staging environment issues, or whatever, like common question to platform, and specify it, and explain how to use these charts across the teams. And it will help you uh, creating a separate channel or a chat for only Lithuanian speaking members is kind of, that's the bad idea. You will definitely lose something. Uh, and last but not least, do not create a chart. First of all, looks for existing ones. Probably it's already been created. Uh, that's it. Like uh, I don't, I'm not able to add more here. Cool. My my, my, la my last question. For you. <laughs> thank you. So first of all, thank you for your talk, and I really love your presentation. Unfortunately, I'm not a game guy at all. However, I've been watching Wargaming. And my question is related to the highlight. And it is as the following. On a high level, how much transparency Wargaming is giving their uh, teams in terms of what has been resolved to the customer and so on and so forth. And it's followed by the next point, which is how does the highlights reflect to the team? I'm really curious in terms of the war gaming in, in general. Thank you. First of all, let's start with that. We have a different layers in the war gaming. It's not like a quite consistent company. We have this biz huge business units, like platform, world of tanks, world of warships, and so on. And they have their own rules, but we have a sea level. So basically we have quarterly business review and and Routini, who is a CFO of the company, use our highlights, the same as World of Tanks highlights, to combine his own presentation and explain what is going on. For example, from the financial perspective. From other hand, we have platform as a unit, and we, we use these highlights, first of all, to uh, distribute it to other teams, like, please read, we delivered something that's very useful for you. Use it in the next release, please. And the same is to our entire team to explain, guys, that's by the way we deliver it. Read through and see. <laughs> because again, a lot of integrational dependencies and sometimes engineers could lost in space because, okay, what have I created? Like some kind of new API, that's it. No, it's not an API. That's by the way a referral program. Uh, how it's reflect what we do, it goes through the automation, highlights, it's not something that in my head and each month or the CPO of pl pl platform, Vyacheslav Gladyshev, like, okay, I need to create a highlight. <sighs> no, he has like an automated system. It's not like an ad, but we use target process as a top of a funnel. And he specified the rule. So for him to create highlights is to review the delivery in the system, pick a necessary topic, like quite high level, describe it with a human readable, not only from platform side description. And that's how he created these highlights. And then like talk to the teams, talk to the game teams. And again, why do we need the digest itself? Because that's the way how you can return back. It's not only about I'm talking. That's the highlight. Okay, I could rely on the paper, on the presentation and like give it to you. Or do you remember two months ago, we delivered a really cool feature, just go and read. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mahmoud. I don't know if it, I, I, if I answer it on the question, but that's it. Okay, Vyacheslav, I'm begging you to squeeze in one more little question before the break, and like one more. Yeah, yeah. one but more. But that's up to you. It's up to me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. This is the privilege of working in Gurtam. <laughs> okay, so join Gurtam. <laughs> yeah, uh, so thank you for sharing the um, like practical knowledge on how you deal with the team to share the common ground in internally. Uh, but my question is about the things you mentioned quite a lot. Uh, internal, external, I mean, in the broader teams and so on. 
But when do you actually work when you have so many things at different levels and um, they are quite regular? First of all, I'm not the only one person who do this stuff. Second one, well, okay, I rely on my crew. I have a director of engineering, engineering managers, team leads, and uh, we have um, an idea in platform that it doesn't really matter what is your role. If you'd like to handle the meetups, like go and do. Why not? So that is why I'm not handling all the communications. For example, that's kind of my son, the digest itself. But right now I'm not creating it on my own. The only one I create is like the intro. Hello guys, new year coming, like blah, blah, blah. Something like that. Uh, and all hands, okay. I'm a lead of a unit, so I have to deal with all hands, like bi-weekly. And by the way, that's the good practice here. Our all hands right now is 30 minutes long because I do it bi-weekly. If I have something to share, I will share. If you have questions, you're going to ask, ask a question to me, I will reply back half an hour. And probably, yeah, we are going to highlight the outgoing year and it, probably will be a one hour talk, something like that. So yeah, communication takes time, but these patterns distributed across the team and I have a different managers or engineers who helps me. That's, that's about my crew. Welcome. Thank you guys. Okay, Vyacheslav, thank you so much.